Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of the seed stitch scarf pattern. Today we're going to be going over how to join together two different skeins of yarn and how to work past the part where you have joined the two skeins. This is going to be a pretty simple join just making a knot combining the two skeins of yarn. So as you can see I have the working yarn laid out straight like that and the yarn from my new skein across like this. I'm going to take the yarn from that I've been working with across the yarn from the new skein under background. So you see now I have a little bit of a loop there and I'm then going to pull put that tab through and pull that tight. Just right like that. And now I'm going to take the end of the new skein yarn, I'm going to take it and I'm going to go over and under. So once again, I have a loop there. Once again, I'm going to put the end through that loop. And I'm going to pull that tight. And so that would is what it will look like whenever you reach that point and then you just start slowly tugging and combining those two knots together. So you can tug fairly securely and it's all there and it should hold just fine for you. Now you see we have these two ends. You'll just take a pair of scissors, go and snip as close as you can without cutting through the knot. If you do, not a big deal. You'll just have to tie it again. Maybe lose a little bit of the length of the yarn, but that shouldn't affect the general outcome of your project. So there we go. And we'll set the scraps aside. Still real and nice and secure. And I'll begin working the pattern once again, just as if I had not stopped. I'll get my needles back into position here. Right. So I'll just work the seed stitch pattern, which is knit one, purl one, just like we were before. You can already see I'm getting fairly close to where that is knotted and joining together. So see right there, it's at a fairly good spot because whenever I'm done making that stitch, it's just going to rest right kind of up in behind that stitch. So it should hide it fairly well. It also helps that the seat stitch pattern is one that with its bumps will hide this particular type of join without it being super noticeable. And as you see there, it's tucked right in there. It's not going to be real noticeable. And I just kept going as if I was just using one long continuous skein of yarn. And I'll continue on here a little bit to show you how to do the next row when you get to that point again and what it looks like then. And two more. And okay. So now, as you can see, we're past that part where we joined yet again, and it is just nice and tucked away. That should be secure, shouldn't come undone, even if, say, you have to throw the scarf into the wash because something got spilled on it. It should still hold nice and strong for you. Hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's helped you continue along your pattern, and I hope you enjoy finishing it off. I will see you next time in part three when we talk about binding off to end the pattern.